Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. We're here at the IMDb studio at Sundance 2018. And look, it's the director and executive producer of Painting with Joan. Put it together for him. What up? Now last year you guys were here, uh, what was the short called? A Hot Winner, a film by Dick Pierre. And that uh, was a funny title alone. And this year the short is called? Uh, Painting with Joan. And both of them are shot on that very Analog camera. VHS. That is the future right there. High, <laughs> high res 480p. The VHS 456. I can't sorry. beat it. Now, if I've read correctly, this camera predates you by two years? Yes, yeah. Why do you want to shoot with dead technology? <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are making movies on our iPhones and stuff. You're taking a step backwards. Why? I just think it's, for comedy, it's amazing. It like, is fantastic. The mechanics of it, and it comes from an age that's so nostalgic. And so, like, in the 80s, it, it, movies were being made on film, but weird things were being made on VHS. The fact that you're shooting on VHS for some reason, of course, and the fact that you're involved as executive producer brings me to Tape Heads. Did you ever see your dad's movie, oh, Tape Heads? Of course, yeah. Love it. But one of my favorite films of all time, oh, man. thank you. Swanky Modes. Thank you. Uh, you and Cusack. Can you take us into that movie a little bit? Well, um, just a bunch of crazy people punk rockers who want to make a film. It's early one for you, correct? Yeah, one of my first. Yeah. Anytime I live in Los Angeles, anytime I pass Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, <laughs> I, I, I have to sing the song from the music video. Roscoe's Chicken yeah. and Waffle. <laughs> um, I'll do the back, backup singer as well, but that would Way be embarrassing. Go. Come to Roscoe's for delicious food. <laughs> This, honestly, that movie was, for me, like, you know, they, they treated video like it could do a lot more things than it could at the time. Yeah. Like, they were shooting, and, and whatever they showed, whatever they represented what they were shooting, you know, it was more of a movie, cinematic, but they were yeah. playing like the camera could do anything, the VHS camera. Um, what is it like working with Dad? Is it ever a pain in the ass where guys like, <laughs> you know, I've made some movies, let me give you some advice. Or is it more the, like, the supportive thing? Like my mom, like, oh, Tiger, everything you do is great. <laughs> uh, it's not blanket support. I mean, he, he'll tell me. Uh, he'll Don't use this moment to be a therapy session yeah, or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been hard. Uh, no, no, it's, <laughs> it's wonderful. Um, work through it, work through it. I mean, uh, I always say that, like, I'm kind of, uh, manning the ship, I'm steering the ship, and he's, I call him to make sure there's no icebergs ahead. He definitely comes at lunch and hangs out, but it's mostly, uh, it's mostly me and my crew. You know, in Hollywood, you can get stuck in this rut of just waiting for someone to legitimize you or to tell you you're worthy of directing a feature-length film. Mm. Uh, and I think a lot of people get stuck in that rut. And so uh, I've been encouraging him for, since he graduated college just to keep shooting. Just keep going, keep shooting whatever it is. You know, get your friends together, get an idea, to shoot it. I hate to say it, but your dad is right. Yeah. No child ever wants to hear that, but he's absolutely <laughs> right. Um, I've been telling my kid, my kid uh, wants to be an actress, and she is acting, but she goes out on auditions. She don't get everything she auditions for, and it bums her out and stuff like that. And I was like, look, I get it. You want to do this because it's nice to get chosen. Be yeah. walk into a room and you're one of 100, and they pick you and stuff. I understand that, and it's great to be involved in other people's things. I said, but. You're part of my genetics, so one day you're gonna realize you don't have to wait for somebody to choose you, you can choose yourself. Start yeah. writing your own material, start shooting your own material, put yourself in it. Because yeah. if I waited for somebody to pick me, I'd still be at a convenience store in New Jersey. <laughs>